Here we're creating the unit on revolved parts. So instead of doing an extrude, drawing a shape and making it a thickness, we're going to draw a shape and spin it around. So if you think of um, any shapes like, a, let's say a snowman, for example, you would draw an eight and then cut it in half and then spin it around the center of the snowman to get a re revolved part. This is a pulley that we're doing here. So it's a round part, it's got a groove cut in it, it's got a center hole to put it on a shaft. We work the same way doing our cuts. Now I could draw this whole shape in one sketch and revolve it and I would be done. But we gotta think about it in that manufacturing process again. So we're gonna start out with a piece that's the overall width by the overall height, then we're gonna do a cut to cut this section out. We'll do a cut to cut this little V groove out and we'll do a hole through the center with the hole tool. So that's the process of it. Let's get started. So starting here, I need an overall diameter. So I'm looking for this overall diameter. I could see it here. I don't see it though. So I see a diameter where that's a diameter little symbol there, 3.5 and my overall width, so from here to here, is 1.5, so 3.5 by 1.5. So I'm gonna start a new sketch, and all my planes are turned off, so I'm gonna hit P to turn planes back on. I'm gonna go on the right view, and if I think about this, the right plane is the vertical plane cutting this way. So the front plane would be this surface, front coming this way, right's coming through this way. So I went on the right plane, right click view normal to sketch plane. I'm going to draw a rectangle from here to here. Pretty simple right now. Okay. And then I am going to dimension this. So I know this is... 1.5 and the diameter is 3.5. Right now I can't get this to show up as a diameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a center line with this construction plane here, start in the same spot and there's my center line. Now if I dimension from here to the center line, don't click on this little piece, Click it, make sure it's highlighting the center line. If I'm on this side, it tells me that information. If I'm on this side, it gives me the overall diameter. Look at it, it's got the diameter symbol there, 3.5. So now I have the overall diameter. Hit check mark, right click isometric. Now we're gonna understand how a revolve works. I'm gonna click on the revolve tool. I'm going to click on my surface, and then it says the axis. The axis is like, think about the axle on a tire, where the center is. We want to click on the revolve axis. It's not grabbing that for me right now. And I can pick it and it spins it around and hit the green check mark. And now I have a block that's inch and a half wide by three and a half high. Inch and a half, three and a half. Perfect. Now we're going to start going into our cuts. Okay, got a notch out here. So let's cut that notch out. I notice that notch is a half inch, which tells me that it's an inch, but I want to type in a half inch. And I also want to go to the diameter here again. Diameter, which is 1.5, because here's that hole, there's that hole, and here is this little bar. So it's 1.5, because this is a section view. So basically what it's doing is I took this and I sliced this with a saw, and I turned it. This section means it's solid material. This is the hole. So going back to the piece, 1.5 diameter. Now, I want to go on the right plane again, but it's really, really hard to see. It'd be nice if I could slice this as well. 
So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a section view. It's the bottom. It's a little view cube right there. Section view. And then it asks me what plane do I want to cut it with? I can cut it with the right plane. You can see I removed half of it so I can see what's going on. Okay. Now I need to see, even though it looks like I can see these edges right now, I can't. So I'm going to do a new sketch on the right plane. And before I do anything on the right plane, I need to get these edges onto that plane. So what I'm going to do is what's called a projected geometry. Use projected. It's right next to the capital A. I'm going to click on this for surface, and it just made a line there. Click on this surface, it made a line top and bottom. And I'm going to click on this surface, and it's going to make a line on the back. So it kind of did an outline. It, wherever this surface touches this plane, it's going to draw a line for me. So I got that part set up. That cut is that rectangle. So we're going to start with the rectangle coming in this bottom corner. I know I need to draw a center line here because I'm going to want a diameter. Get it to horizontal. Go dimension there to the center line. And that was 0.7, no, 1.5. Hit enter. Here to here, it's 0.5, enter. Green check mark that. I'm going to do a revolve. So before I added the revolve, this time here, I want to revolve this piece, but I can't quite see it. So what I have to do is drag a window over it. You can't see it because it's in a section. Revolve axis, so that's the center line. And it says Boolean resulted. Boolean means connecting two objects together. Resulted no image or geometry to change. I want to do a remove. And look at that. It's cutting that out. Green check. Boom. That one's done. So I got this cut done. Now I'm going to do this cut right here. This here, it says B. This is a detailed drawing. It blows that up so I can see. If I had dimensions on here, you'd be saying, I don't know what you're talking about, Han. So this blows it up. So it gives me a nice, close view. It's 0 0.125, 0 0.125, 0 0.125, and it's 0.2 deep. So let's get that set up. So we're going to do a new sketch. And selecting the plane again, I want to do the right plane. I got to project this geometry again. So I'm going to hit projected geometry right next to the A. There, there, and there. And that doesn't look like it's doing anything, but what that's doing is adding those lines onto the sketch so I can use that information. It's so important to project that geometry. Now I can go right click, view normal to sketch plane. Start my line, coming this way, click, type 0.125, enter, bringing it down. I want to make sure I'm not high lining it up perpendicular or horizontal, just coming at an angle. Bringing this over, 0.125, and then that one was horizontal. Bringing it up, so it's touching that line, and then coming over this way, and type 0.125. And if I notice, this didn't go on to that edge. So I need to do a constraint here to here. So now I got this defined. Now I have to, do, and I got all this, but it's not um, straight yet. So what I have to do is I have to put an equal constraint. This line and this line have to be equal to each other, and then it will go right in the center. So equal, click on your constraints there, equal, or you can type E on the keyboard. Here, 
to here, and you'll see it shift to the center. The last thing I have to work with is the depth, top line down to the bottom, and that was a 0 0.2, and you should see everything lock in and fully constrain. Green check mark. All right, let's do a revolve. So we're going to click on revolve. Again, I'm going to just drag a window over just that little center V. Revolve axis. Ah, I didn't put an axis on here because I wasn't near the axis. So now I have to select an axis from previous sketch. So I'm going to come up to sketch one and I'm just going to turn it on for a second. So now I have the little eyeball turned it on, and right there is my axis that I can click. So I'm going to click Revolve Axis, and again it gives me the Boolean because I have to remove it. Now it's removing, and I can hit the green check. I can turn off Sketch 1, go to Isometric, and I can see I have my cut done. So I'm going to turn off Section View. And I have my part mostly done. The last thing I have to do is put the hole in the center. So if you remember from, holy cow, that's a lot of holes. I'm going to do a sketch to get a sketch point right on the center here. I'm going to do a point right on the origin. I'm going to do a hole tool. So a placed feature of a hole. I gotta find it. it, takes me a second as well. Right there's the hole. I'm doing a simple hole, it's gonna go through custom size 0.75. Click there, looking like it's going through, green check mark. So what I'd like you to do then is hit P to turn off planes. We've got the part done. Nice work. Right click, go to isometric. This is key. I'm going to go section view, just like we had section view on before. So I can see there's a hole through it. I can see there's a cut through it. I'm going to go to the weight mass properties. Click on my piece. It'll tell me how big this is supposed to be, volume 5.24 inches cubed, and has my name on it. I'm going to highlight to make sure I can see the three revolves, I can see the hole, and that's what you're going to turn in.